it was one of those instances where you never want to get a text like that as a parent. For several horrific minutes. You had a good day. Yeah. Chantel Stevenson didn't know if she'd see her five-year-old son again. I probably shed about 30 years off my life just getting that text, like them saying, we don't know where he is. This text message came in while she was at work. It shows the people at Gold Star Learning Options, the summer camp provider she and her husband trusted with her son, who has autism, didn't know where he was. Like if you, as the child care center, don't know where my child is, where is he? Hey, Robin, this is, Sonia with Fox News. this is the woman who is responsible for little Ryland Stevenson that day. Robin Rohde is now facing misdemeanor child abuse and crimes against an at risk person charges after she picked up Ryland in her car and failed to take him to a scheduled event at a park. She should never be able to work with kids ever again or be anywhere near children. The problem solvers obtained the Aurora police report showing concerned camp workers first tried to track down the counselor by phone. One manager said Rody sounded very intoxicated, slurred her words, and didn't sound coherent. The report shows Rody later denied having any alcohol or drugs, but did say she took prescription medication. And she said she didn't take the boy directly to the park because he was feeling shy and refused to exit the car. Camp leaders told police they also sent an employee to track down the counselor using GPS. PS, but they couldn't find her, so they eventually called 911 and Chantel. Of course, I immediately started calling her. She didn't answer. Um, I called her, I don't know, nine or ten times. And then probably the 11th or 12th time, Ryland answered, which was really weird, and he said that he was scared. Chantel says a neighbor's surveillance camera captured the moment when Ryland finally came home. He was not belted. When they got here, he wasn't in his car seat. Uh, he was sitting in the middle of the car. Counselor was on the floor of the car, surrounded by a whole bunch of shooters, like alcoholic shooters, and this unknown man that I've never seen in my life was driving. This is the first time that anything like this has ever happened um, for us. William Porter is a spokesperson for Gold Star Learning Options, the state certified provider that hired the counselor. We have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to safety. He says the group immediately fired Rody and contacted Child Protective Services to report the incident. He insists the organization's vetting process goes far beyond the government's requirements for hiring direct care staff. For us, we don't think that's enough. Um, we have over 20 additional uh, processes in place that uh, is required. Porter says Rody's qualifications exceeded requirements for the job, but when she didn't meet expectations, they terminated her. I want them to be brought to justice as a camp as well. Ryland's parents say they want more answers. Right now, they're just relieved their son is safe. We asked Robin Rohde for an interview, but her attorney declined on her behalf. In the police report, she told investigators the man who ended up in her car was her neighbor who offered to drive so that Rohde could help calm the little boy in the back seat because both could see that he was escalating. I looked him up. It turns out he's a federal police officer for a VA medical center. He also told investigators that no one was drinking that day. So a lot to sort out here. Ryland, by the way, ended up coming home without being injured.